Well, here we are. <sighs> Take over day six. Can you guys believe I have dropped six episodes in one week? This is insane. But you know what? It's Sunday and we're going to put the aggressive lyrics down and we're going to unfold just the mindfuck lyrics. Just the lyrics that's just finished. We, 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 they, they, y'all know. We, we gonna talk that shit this time. I'm devoted to the mission if it makes sense Staring at the canvas like I could get millions if I paint this Minority deeper than the surface so I can't switch I roll the dice and lately I've been feeling like I can't miss If them niggas leave then that's on them We try and build a team I ain't gonna hold a grudge we grown men Hold myself accountable for every time I don't win I was blessed with this gift it's either we want it or we don't then Told shorty I ain't used to playing games my loyalty for Jeff and that's just not a fair exchange My homegirl gassed me up, told me I'll be on my shit Bitches start choosing up, make sure you focus before you take your pick These streets will never love you back I done seen niggas leave that ain't coming back Imagine me and my big cuz they just start to overlap Time passing, I don't think it really heals Still dealing with trauma, but over time I can't accept it's real I can never help you till I help myself Promise I won't change, but I've been growing up The shit I should probably try to explain Treat me a certain way, it's weight that's carried by my name Never slide on random Bitches, I ran into some charades. I used to think that we was innocent. Free consultation. Rolling dice. He said, I roll the dice, and lately I've been feeling like I can't miss. I'm definitely feeling the same way. I'm feeling like there's no fucking way you can miss with a flow like this, okay? It's just his sound. You know, when you hear it's a tone that certain artists have when you know they finna just fuck up your whole mental they finna just really get in that shit okay and he has that tone to him to his flow he said i'm devoted to the mission if it makes sense Whoo! because we're all on a mission here and i know y'all probably like this you know we're not talking about no paul patrol mission no bob the builder no it's deeper than that and if it makes sense and you can see it and you see what the fuck you're supposed to be doing and you see your purpose you gonna stick to the mission if it makes sense. That's what the fuck that mean. And that bar definitely makes sense to me. He said staring at the canvas like I'm gonna make a million if I paint this. If you paint that picture that you got in your head, that million dollar vision you got, it's gonna turn into a million dollars. I painted the picture. I saw it in my head and I painted it. I brought it to life and boom, now you got millions. They don't fucking hear what you talking about because you're talking that shit. He said, my loyalty deeper than the surface, so I can't switch. Ooh, my loyalty. Hold on, run it back. Run it back. He said, because my loyalty deeper than the surface, so I can't switch. You ever been so loyal? You like, I am too motherfucking loyal. There, yo, like, the way some of us love is just like, when I tell you I am committed to you, bitch, I is it's something the ground can't even hold down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hold you down beyond the surface of the ground. You get what I'm saying? It's not in me to switch. I, I don't even know what that means. I, I don't know what that feels like. Because the loyalty is that real. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't, didn't I tell y'all? He got that, that tone that's finna just get... Come on. He said, I hold myself accountable for every time that I don't win. It ain't nobody else's fault but mine. I'm not going to point the finger. I'm not going to blame you. I'm not going to blame your hating ass over there. I'm just going to blame me because I should have knew better. Okay? And then he said, because you got the gift. Either you want it or you don't. Either you're going to do this shit right and you're going to stick to the mission or you're going to just throw it all away. It's up to fucking you because you got the motherfucking choice. I told you you talking that shit. He said, I can never help you until I help myself. If I'm broken, I can't help nobody else that's broken. If I'm not right, how I'm going to get you right? Come on, come on, because you, cause you know what you're doing. And whatever it is that you're doing, it's, it's, it, I'm here for it. You a goat. I like your flow. It's a special flow. Music like this will never get old. Rappers like this will never run out of shit to talk about because they only talk about real shit. And when you talk about real shit, you have my full fucking support. Uh, you know it's playing Friday. Nigga gonna give you something. You feel me? Listen. I said, before I was taught, I know about love and the meaning. But growing up, I never got that kind of that I was fainting. I know I'm something special because the message I'm receiving. I talk in my reflection like, 
Why they don't believe him? He told me, keep pushing flame. They ain't believe Jesus. Yeah, they call me flame, but not the kind that'll burn you, but the kind that your mama told you about, and that'll learn you. It's crazy because we used to laugh at kids for being nerds, but glorify the ones who caged in like birds. Don't get me wrong. I met some of the smartest in intelligence, but giving them control of my life. Where is the relevance? Sitting in affairs, I see my life from a different view. Really got to watch what I be saying in these interviews. Why I keep sliding and I know I ain't got shit to prove. Why I put my trust in all these niggas and these bitches too? Why the one I love couldn't help me see my vision through? And when I get abundance, I might still split some shit with you. Real nigga in a hard spot, my diagnosis. I don't like drama so common, I get explosive. Being told Trady like, cuz I'ma make it for us. Back to Long Beach where I know our people waiting on us. Christopher Columbus couldn't even come and take it from us. G's really raw and uncut. These niggas baking soda. Used to hang out to sunrise, but that ain't fun now. Take my ass home, cause I don't wanna let my son down. Summon for the butterflies, hard like a drum now. Fuck what the obstacles is, I ain't gonna punk out. I should call my tape C4 and blow the trunk out when I think about who hate me more. DJ D Red, cut the beat, we don't need it. Let me tell you some flame motherfucking Fridays, this shit goes up in flames. Because we got, we got, I got a lot of fucking bars to catch. We said growing up, I knew about loving and smeaning, but I never got the love I was feeling. I knew what that shit meant, but nobody ain't ever get that shit to me the way it's defined, <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. I never had that growing up. See, that's some real shit right there. This, let me tell you something about this artist right here. I studied this page. I looked all up and down that bitch from his rants. To his freestyle, to, 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 to his talking videos, to his freestyles, and his mind is fucking different. He been through some shit, and he learned from that, and his mind is fucking crazy. Like, the good kind of crazy, and I'm here for it. We used to laugh at the kids that was nerds, but we used to glorify the ones that was... But we used to glorify the ones that was locked in them cages. You get how backwards sometimes some of the shit is when you look back at it like we were laughing at people who thought it made sense to pay attention in school and take in as much knowledge as possible and they enjoyed learning and you look back now like damn knowledge is real power and you should always want to wake up and learn more shit that's what this is all about but here we are trying to make it cool to look like it's cool to go in and out of jail that make you look hard no the hardest thing you could do is pick up a motherfucking book and read that shit from front to back and then come out with a different mindset that is the best and coolest thing you could fucking do is elevate your mind and make yourself a better person. That's fucking cool. And then sometimes you gotta go through shit to fucking to learn that. And cause he said, don't get it twisted. I done met some of the smartest men while I was going in and out. But guess what? You see, if you happen to slip up and, and get in the situation, come out with this D flame mindset. Cause this this my shit. And then when he said, Why the one I love couldn't help me see my vision? Because they ain't love you like you love them. That's exactly why. Because anybody. I said any motherfucking body that you love and is supposed to be your partner. I don't give a fuck. If you can't see it as clear as I can, you need to help me get to this motherfucker. We need to help each other. Even if we don't all the way understand it, you need to still stand by me and push me to do better and push me to be great. That's See, I just... This the shit I like to hear all day. I just don't even put the beat on. I just can hear him just rap just like this with no beat all fucking day because he talking that shit. He said I used to be out to the sunrise, but that ain't fun now. I take my ass home because I don't want to let my son down. The sun, first of all, sunrise, you get what the fuck I'm saying, what he did with sun, and then on top of that, that was just a deep ass bar, I don't need to be out in these streets late, I got, I got a son to make it home to, <laughs> and if I don't do right in this life, a motherfucker gonna be able to take that from me, and I'm gonna let him down. If I go somewhere I don't belong, I'm going to let my son down. And I don't want to do that, but fuck that. But fuck that, I'm going home. I'm taking my ass home, please. I'm telling listen, these flame. he need to talk to the youth. He need to talk to the world. He need to be on podiums. He need to be everywhere. Nigga, we all need to hear a voice like this across the world, okay? Fuck what the obstacle is. I ain't gonna punk out. Sometimes people be like, you know, it's, it's gonna be a lot of work. It ain't gonna be easy. It's sometimes it's gonna... I don't give a fuck. Like, I thank you for telling me, but I'm not no bitch. I'm not gonna punk out. I'm not gonna fold. I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna ride this shit out because some of us are built different. You get what I'm saying? It's survival of the fittest. Either you built or you ain't. You get it? You're built or you ain't. You see when I say you ain't, you got to get your ass out the way. See, man... 
I'm truly here for you as an artist, you as a human being, you as a fucking just just you period general. I just don't even you even gotta fucking rap. I just talk to this these are the kind of people you just wanna have conversations with for hours and this shit just never get old. I just I love it. Uh. <laughs> Black man in America, man, no matter how many times you shoot us, nigga, I ain't scared of ya, and I ain't got time to be a puppy, you never made me hate this skin, I'm men, nigga, nigga, I love it, they put us in systems, thank God I ain't get caught, no sure, Wendy, just followed everything I was taught, I leave them distraught, I was supposed to be a statistic, but I'm here, Libra gang, balanced out and I'm gifted, you get it, smoke a L two times to reassure I'm lifted, we all fall on hard times, I'm never burning bridges, I work as hard as two times to reassure the riches my ex broke up with me she think i'm chasing bitches yeah i'm rolling split the thickest i've been grinding for years like google be the witness yeah <laughs> In and out them trenches, man I had to be a star, couldn't sit on benches, yeah I was a ball player, man I had big dreams, wanted it all player, yeah uh, I was a ball player, man I had big dreams, wanted it all player, uh Some core team balls, you know what I mean? Listen, when you just start off in the first bar is black man in America, you automatically stop because you know this shit finna get deep. You already know, Zig, but here's what I love. Here's what I just, just right off the bat. You never made me hate the skin that I'm in. Nigga, I love it. Thank you, Zig, for that bar. I love this beautiful skin. I love it. I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck what they say. This right here is beautiful. I love this. You get what I'm saying? You will never make me want to change the skin that I'm in. I'm here for that bar, sir. And he said, I'm here. I'm balanced out and I'm gifted. You you see, see, because sometimes you hear that and you're probably like, what do you mean balanced out? Just you, you write. You 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 balancing yourself on the inside. You right. You you balancing yourself mentally. You balancing yourself. Just you you you're balancing yourself. You're getting your mind right. You're getting your body right. You're getting everything right. You just balancing yourself out. And what I say, life is all about balance. Okay. And he said, I'm gifted. I'm special. Yes, my friend. You definitely are gifted. Zigbee artist. You are definitely fucking gifted. Do you hear me? And then he said, I've been grinding for years. Let Google be the witness. You could Google me right now, and you're gonna see the work that Zig put in. You type it in. Type in Zig the artist, and then. Tell me how much I've been working. Tell me I ain't been on my shit. Tell me I ain't come here to play with you today. Google is the witness. And when you could pop up on Google and just Google pop up, all, you, you on your shit. You on your shit. Because if you Google me, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have too much on Google. But I was here for that bar. He said I had to be the star. I couldn't sit on no benches. Y'all already know how I talk about the stars and the benches. And let me tell you, I'm... Listen, I'm a starting five player. I don't come off the bench. I don't sit the bench. That's how great I am. I don't sit the bench in life. I don't take the back seat. I don't take plan B. I'm great enough for plan A. Zig, the artist, I don't think they hear you. I don't know if they hear you, but I know I do. And I know that all of these artists have made me think I just, it's Sunday. And on Sundays, I like to just go through teachings. I like to get my mind right. I like to get it balanced. Like Zig said, thank you to these three artists because y'all was really on some deep shit. Y'all have meaningful shit to say. And I love doing episodes like this. It's, it's just so fucking amazing. And it feels good to hear some shit that's just uplifting positive make you think it's educational you know what i'm saying you learn something from it so with that being said thank you guys so much for rocking with me throughout this takeover i'm still like trying to tell myself like there's no way you just did six episodes in a week i did and i felt really great and i just want people to understand all jokes aside the reason why i chose to do this was because one, I wanted to push myself because I often would tell myself 
I couldn't do more than two episodes. It was too much work. It was too hard. It's too much editing. It's, you know, it was just too many excuses that I didn't like to hear come out of my own mouth. So I had to push myself. And I did. And I got up every single day. And I turned my energy up every single fucking day. And I studied so many of these artists for fucking hours. And I enjoyed it. And some of the shit is like I'm already fans of them. So it wasn't even... It, this is not... They don't feel like work. It feels like I'm doing what I love to do. And... Also, I wanted to see how many artists I could show love to in one week because that's what this shit is all about. And I truly feel like to go back to Zig, um, actually it wasn't Zig's, but to go back to one of the bars that say, you know, I'm going to stick to my mission if it makes sense. I truly feel like a part of my mission in life is to, to, to praise and help shine light on so many talented artists and... I think that it's just all about love and it's all about support. And I just wanted to see how many artists I can find and, and give love to because it's all about giving love. I love to give love. I love to give support. That's what this shit is all about. And I know I usually don't talk this much towards the end of videos, but I just really wanted to say it was just this whole takeover was really about just showing as much love as I could. I just wanted to just give so much love this week. Like just an overflow of love to artists because what you guys do is not easy what you guys do it helps people like me like i truly would not be a creator if it wasn't for music if it wasn't for and not just hip-hop but just music in general i would not be able to do this right here and i wouldn't have this excitement i wouldn't have figured out a way to help other people in life and through entertainment i'm able to do that and music keeps me going throughout this process so the least i can do is just keep pushing as much love out as possible and that's what hip-hop glue is all about um so you know i didn't mean to get that deep but i mean it really wasn't that deep but again whatever you guys want to do just do it push yourself um some days you'll feel tired some days you won't want to do it but guess what like if you can't overcome that little feeling of like, oh, I don't feel like doing anything, you have a long journey ahead of you because that's so small to the things that's really going to challenge you in life. And um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys, you know, soon is what I do. Thank you.